I'm still setting up the camera right now. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate that. I'm trying to get this angle right. You got to know your pose. I mean, you got to know your angle so you look good, you know? Because I look like shit. You, Raph, what up, kid? I see you. Always in the check-in. Is this center? Is that... I'm in the middle? Yeah, hold on. Let's zoom in a little bit. <laughs> hold on. Still, still working on my angles. All right, that's good. The V2s, what V2s? The V, oh, the V2s, the 990s. Nine nine DJ, what up? DJ Baya. I see you. I'm trying to read these comments as they come. Has ain't ready, what up? I see you. I'm gonna come through right now. That was a little hot. Did I leave the light on? What up? You? We here. Yeah. Am I okay? Am I clear? I think so. Okay, cool. I think we're able to, I think, yeah. I think you're good. Good. Sweet. All right. Thanks for having me. No doubt. No doubt. Thanks for I, doing I, this. Thanks for doing this. All right. Let's wait a little bit. We get more people in. Get a little audience before we start with the mayhem. Yeah. What time is it over there again? I forgot. Toronto? Yeah. Seven. Come on. What time? Seven. It's an hour away. Oh, seven. An hour away. Okay. Away. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. I guess I didn't so. Know. You know. I didn't have the map this time. I represent all Canada, but you know. The I six, got you. The six. You're the ambassador. <laughs> For now. I no actually no, there was a Canadian mm, No, that was No, that wasn't you. you. That wasn't you. The, You've yeah, been New York only you. so far, right? Yeah. Well, I haven't been to Canada. I'm Not yet. I'm honored. I'm uh I'm a big fan of the show, of course. Appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, we missed missed you guys, but uh, it's kind of hard for you guys to do it. Like it's all about yeah, it is. It's all about being together. Thing. For you three, it's like the the vibe of that you guys, the rapport. Yeah, it's a rapport exactly. I feel you. I, I understand exactly what you mean. It's like the the elements got to be there. Oh, what you got there? What are you sipping on? Mm, I didn't have much. I did the mix, so I did a ginger. With some crown, crown. Cool, cool. I don't know if that's cool. Let me know what up. I got brown water, muddy water. Cheers, salute. <laughs> Cheers, salute. Whatever you say. All right, Brooklyn. so we got like twenty people in here. Oh, right. yeah, I'm in Brooklyn. Yeah, no. What did they say in Brooklyn? I don't know. Cheers. Keyword. Salute. You used to work at a bar, uh, or you still work at a bar? I still work at a bar, yeah. Well, it's, they're closed down now yeah, because right. of the, you know, what's going on. But they just say cheers, everybody there. Depends on, like, the culture, I guess. It's either salut or cheers. Yeah, it's cheers in Toronto. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's... I'm ready, I'm ready. Uh, let the people know who you are, where you're from, a little bit about yourself before we get the battle moving. All right, well, uh, I've known Tone over IG for a while. I think maybe back in the uh, New Balance A6 Saucony uh, Facebook group days too, that might have... Oh yeah, I remember what, those What was days. the name of the show you guys used to do in the battles? I couldn't remember it for the life of me. The battle. You were in, uh, you were there. It was with, uh, with Dabs, they had, um... It was like eight uh, guys. Holy Hustle, I think. Well, not then, the predecessor, not the predecessor to the the breakdown, that battle, the battle. I mean, you guys used to battle. You weren't there. You were there. I'm trying to remember now. It was on YouTube, I think. I couldn't find. It. I don't know. Maybe it's not there anymore. Anyway, it was called uh, like Sneaker Mon or some shit. No. Yeah. Forget. I can't believe you don't remember. Maybe it was. I don't remember your time. But I think it was maybe right at your prime time. No, no offense, no. I, I got into the 
the community like at 2013, 2014, more or less, 2012. Last Mikey, last Mikey. Uh, yeah, I'm a little late into the, the sneaker world. No, you were there, I think. Uh, anyway, it was battles. So that's how I got I got exposure to you. I thought I'd definitely camp out. And uh, and I uh, used to always watch, I'll still always watch the show, Loyal. You know, I see, see me in the chat sometimes a little late yeah, after I put my kids to bed. So I'm a dad. I'm, I'm also do the sneaker dad's thing. So I'm trying to have some fun with that. And uh, yeah. You know, and yeah, Canada. I like the sneaker dad thing. I like when you know parents, you know, they match up with the kids and they buy them sneakers, and especially if the kids enjoy it too. Like that makes it even a hundred times better. Because sometimes kids don't want the latest and greatest; they want like Spider Man or or Captain America or you know, you know the the Hulk. But sometimes you know we want to give them some you know a nice pair of Nikes or something. Yeah. So I'm just representing Toronto. You know, tone called for people in the battle, and I'm um, uh, you know. We've known each other a little while, so uh, it's good that uh, I'm happy to be here and, you know, I wanted to couple, lose. Show off a couple things. Yeah, no, uh, it could get it could get heated. You, I saw you flexing some sixes, but I'm not scared of that. Oh, I love those sixes. You got to be scared. They're vicious. Yeah, people will vote for that. Yeah. Anyway, it's, it's good. Anyone can bring out anything. I love the way you're doing exactly. it. Exactly. I like, like the, the I told my wife. No hard cards. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm here just for the fun. And uh, let's do and the do round one and see how it goes. All right, because I'm ready. We got like 20 people in here. I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, I got you right here. I, I know what you kind of have, so I'm a little worried about losing. But you better bring the good shit. Ooh, I hope you think this is. I'm not worried. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you. Are. All right, you ready? Yeah. We're gonna count it off to three, and then we just show the sneakers, and then we just let the the viewers decide. All right. One, two, three. Oh, you got the new balance, dog? I was expecting a Jordan one. Dude, what am I going to do? First one for you, I got to pull out the new balance. I pulled out the Jordans because of you. I almost put the white laces, but that's not... I got... I appreciate it. <laughs> Come on, though. You I, 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 I wish I had those. Oh, you don't, don't have them? No. Yeah, you have the, the OG Chicago's though, no? Yeah, I do, I do. For the twos? I'm going to burn a rubber box, man. No, that's vicious. You don't, see, that's why I take it for you, because you know right away. You don't even have to read it. You just know. That's horrible, bro. How are you going to do me like that? I didn't expect you to bring those out. It's one of my favorites, so I had to. Like, this one in the, uh, in the ANG, these are my two favorite, 577. Those are way before my time. No, no. Yeah, before I got into New Balance, that was way before me. Oh, maybe New Balance, but you're you're into sneakers. Just they're not that old. Nice. The twos, though, what? they might win. I don't know. I don't know what are, what 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 year are those? Two thousand fourteen. Fourteen. Twenty fourteen. I don't know. I think materials you got it with the white laces. If I had white laces in these, I vote for you. They're, I vote for you. they're my extra pair. I pull them out of the box. You got it. I give you that vote. Well, I don't know. That's a tough one. What are people vote? I, I think I see twos. I'm not keeping track, but a lot of people might not even know what the New Balance are. But with our audience, I think a lot of people know. Okay, can I? Can I? Two fifths right now. Let's see. Let's see. So this is from Burn Rubber, Detroit collab on the five seven seven. They did it like a Joe Lewis, the boxer. And apparently he used to sneak his uh, boxing gloves in his guitar ca his uh, violin case. So the oh, damn. was the theme. And uh, so they got the boxing theme. And that's the shoe too, right? That's the shoe, like a boxing glove. And it is. Yeah, it is. How does it come out? Smells nice. No, I'm jealous. You have shoes that smell like this, so you know. No, it smells synthetic. Okay. But the laces, the yeah. laces just, smell good. They're 100 percent cotton. I'll give you that. That's why I brought up the case. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are rubber now, man. They're killing me right now. It shows our diversity that yeah. I pull out a new balance and you pull out a two. I know you rock Jordan, but you surprised me. You know what? Dude, I had no idea. I think this the second round I might have like a a better chance on this one. I think Right before I'll make my call and what I think you're gonna pull out, I think it's the same thing as I am. Well, you could still switch it, so I shouldn't have said that. 
I don't, what do you mean? Like, you know what brand it is or you know what sneaker? Nah, I don't know. You don't know, right? Me, <laughs> bullshit. I don't even know what I'm picking. All right, I'm ready whenever you are. You ready? What happened with that? Who cares? Let's go. That was good. I like these a lot, so they're one of my favorites. And then it's got to be in the balance. One, two, three. Ooh, Air Force oh, so nice. I'm surprised. Dude, I got I can't you. On believe. I can't believe. The Linden Air uh, Force One. Kith. Kith. One. It's the Kith? Yeah, the Kith. Well, it's not really a Kith collab, but oh, he, he, yeah. he was part of the whole, like, reissue yeah, process yeah. of it. He was the only store that dropped them. Yeah. I'm surprised you don't have yeah. the old linens. <laughs> Way before my time, yeah, though, I'm not going to break true, bank for those. True. That's true. So I'm not trying to nice. find a pair. Those are nice. They don't even smell that good, but they, they look nice. Yeah. Well, that's that might have my uh, your your audience. I don't know who's how much of my audience is in here. 2016. Do I have any clue let, know, let them know about your sneaker. Uh, this is Air Max 1 to 6. I have to represent Toronto. We got Canada. We got the North Patch. It came with this sort of winterized... Okay, that? is that like ballistic mesh, right, on the collar? Yeah, even this is, uh, where is it? This is very, uh, durable. Cleans up. Is that like a... Cleans up water. Is it like a... What is it, like a Gore-Tex on the toe wrap, or what yeah, is it like a... It's just like a tough... It's snoop up? Wave. Yeah, maybe. It's oh. almost like... I don't know. What's on the install? You got a map? Oh, I didn't know they had that on the insole. The yeah, extra box for these is crazy, but uh, I don't have it. Oh, that's right. Weren't they like OVO uh, Toronto Air Max 1s? No, 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 OVO, no OVO, no OVO. I know you got OVO somewhere. I know you got that plug. I don't have any. You got to send this number. I got to get Drake's autograph. You got to send that number. I don't have any OVOs. Oh, I got some OVO Raptor stuff. Like, they stole the OVO colors. From oh, that's fire. Yeah, he's getting paid. I mean, he's selling OVO merch and... At the games. So, yo, John, I see you over yo, John. What up? Good to All right. Uh, anyway, so, what do you think? I, I got the second round with the Air Force Ones. I think I, I got it. Yeah, I think I made a mistake to pull out a obscure, relatively obscure Air Max. I thought you were going to an Air Max. Max. So, so far, I surprised me. So far, you surprised me on both. No, some people are voting for the MX1. You got a good uh, percentage of that, the OVOs. They're calling them OVO right now. It's one for one. It's a tie. Yeah, that's what I see. One for one. Oh, Kelly shit. votes for you. Buckeye, what up? I oh, this guy tone so far in this one. Okay. I'm sweating, though. You got me nervous. I'll take the I don't know if you're going to Yeah. I don't know. I know you got Jordan 1 from 1985, so you better not, I don't get it. not flex too hard. It's not too late. No, no, you're right. It's not too late. Let me take a last sip because this third oh, round is going to yeah, make it or break it right now. So. Oh, we got top shelf goodness over there. So I just, do I have to take it out or just like, that's it? It's over. If you want, yeah, yeah. Take, out, take out one of the 85. Show, show the people one of the 85. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> we can do it. Oh, we do it after if you want. All right. I'm not full. I'm not. That's no fun. And I could lose. What if I lose? In these times? No, not with your followers. They would vote for them. No, no, no. Some of your followers are here too. I, I, I got yeah, they'd all vote for 85. Our, fo our followers, both of ours? Uh, you would hope so. Yeah. No, it's going right. to be more fun than that. You ready? I'm ready for the third round. Okay. I don't care if I lose, but this sneaker means a lot to me. Not a lot, but it's a good story. Ooh, we can oh, story? Well, I'm not ready. You're going to tell a story. Well, maybe I've told it. No, no, I'm not going to tell a story. I've told enough stories, so this one will be yours. It's going to be like two seconds. This one will be yours. All right, I'm ready. You ready? One, two, three. three. Oh, another Jordan. Say another a Jordan. Jordan one. Damn. Come on, dog. Damn. NYC ones. What do you know about rating champ? Nah, come on. Just because they're like waterproof, right? Is that pair waterproof or rainy oh, chair? Look, it's like Terry. Oh, because I know like they do a lot of waterproof and like uh, no, tech really. gear and stuff like that. Got the, sh got the pants to match? Nah, dog. It's New York all day. You had the OVO Air Max 1s. I got the New York Jordan 1. No. I got the red carpet because every day in New York City is a fashion show, man. So you got the red carpet out here. One of the best ASICs collabs. 
Try to find Come it. Come on, dog. Try to find it. I got a sewer. Try to a find it. A sewer cap. On the insole. Try to find this. Ask Mikey if he has it. Ask Dabs if he has it. Come on. Well, yeah, like the, the first sample pair were like PSNY uh, Jordan 1s. And then they just uh, fix up the details. Instead of leaving the PSNY in the back, they put 2 3 on the left side and on the right shoe. They got the NY. But originally, they first were revealed as PSNY Jordan 1s. And they only dropped in foot action in 34th Street, Manhattan. A lot of people went crazy for these. I still got my pair. I wore them a lot. They represent a lot to me. You get them from way back, like when they first came out? Yeah, yeah. They dropped in uh, 2014, so it's not that long ago. It was only six six years, more or less. But like you said, they're really high in demand. And then, like... No, no I don't think so. At the beginning? No, well, in the beginning, they yeah. were going crazy, but they eventually dropped them on footaction.com oh, and yeah. they made, like, a bunch of pairs. I remember seeing them on... Uh, Right, right across from uh, what, what's the one just past MSG? There's a store. They have for Foot Action and yeah. they have House of Now the, they got Foot the Jordan Jordan one now, isn't it? No. Yeah, they got the Jordan store, the Foot Action store. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's in the same building, but it's just like different sections. Yeah, I saw them there in New York, but uh, I think I had too much that trip already. You know, to bring. Yeah. Always oh, Alice. People are saying get another round in. I don't know, man. But I, I brought like something big on the side. Pause. I brought something like massive. Pause. In case okay. you brought up the bed. I'm weapon. going up. I'm going up then, okay? You're going to have to, dog. I did this for you. I dug into the crates, into the vault. And you disappointed me, dog. You didn't bring no 85s out. I'm sorry. I got a little bit of glitter. Got glitter the clarity dust. Fragments. Look at the shine on those. Oh, look at that. Those are 85? Yeah. You still wear them? Yeah, I wear all my 85s. A couple of them are really, really slippery on the bottom. Like, I wore them on a, anything but outside. But oh, like the rubber's like a little dry rod, so it's like slippery and shit. Flat. It's just, there's no tread anymore like these. These ones are, oh. these ones are good. I beat out the frame. These ones are fine. I like about half of them are good. Half of them are slip. Yeah, it's fine. There are no holes, so. Yeah, I don't know. This round, that's crazy. These two against... Wait, let's let, do it again. I think you would have won. Get him in Just based off of, like, the, the history on that Get one. In. There we go. <laughs> Let them play with that. Let them decide. <laughs> no, I'm putting that one up. Yeah. I only have one or two more, but that's that's my favorite out of the eighty the Chicago's but this is my favorite pretty much. How do you uh, typically look for your eighty five? You go on eBay, you go like what do you check them out at? Pretty tough now. Like prices have gone up a couple years ago. I don't know if you ever read the article I wrote. Uh I wrote it on uh Net Magnetism's blog. It was why I sold my grails. I got him at uh Wait, you and right for that. I didn't mean to interrupt, but I didn't know you wrote for that. That's a magazine. Times. Yeah, oh, yeah. The oh, blog. yeah. He has a blog. He writes for it a lot. He writes about like, oh, the market. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, check it out. He writes about like pricing and stuff and his strategy, yeah. his business, a lot of stuff. He writes, he writes about everything. But uh, so I wrote a couple and I found a pair at Urban Necessities and uh, a couple years ago, maybe three, four, three years ago. And I remember okay. it was funny. It was a great price. And I was trying to negotiate with C's and JC was there because it was in the old location. Negotiate down and it was a steal. Like I was just trying to be like a smart sneakerhead because I didn't even know, really know them back then. They weren't even yeah. so huge. And so I took them home back to the hotel. They had skunks there too and I got skunks. So that was my pickups from there. And they were DS with no box. So I didn't wear them, obviously. I have another pair. And... Uh, I sold them to OD Toronto. I don't know if you follow them, but they're a huge consignment uh, store in Toronto now. Not consignment, uh, like sneaker store. And uh, okay. the other one's just like Net Magnetism, a couple I got from Gusto to Ninja, those type of like guys like him, and like eBay, and one of them, a couple maybe from Friends. Just oh, like, wow. There's a guy from. I would never sell them. If I had them, I'd never let them go. No. Only my DS pair, because I was kind of, I was kind of scared to have them, to be honest, in a bit of a way. Like, I was too worried about chipping. Like, I didn't want to. I made it off. It's like, it's crazy. I need to pay 85. Yeah, I mean, but the price that got up, I see someone selling them now. 85, 45 is back on eBay sales. Like, people sell them. They're just going for way more than they used to, so. And yeah, especially with the hype of the Jordan 1 right now. Yeah, and if I had, most of mine are 11, and they're tight on me. So it's tough. Oh, what size are you? Well, I'm 11 and a half in a Jordan 1 usually. And uh, 
these old ones are a bit small, right? So the 11s are tough, but they're okay. They're worn in. Luckily, they're all worn in. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really find too many anymore. I'm still looking for the colorways, you know, that I don't have. But you always been into Jordans or, like, you just... You double dabble into like different companies or now you know, I do it. Now I do like everything. Years now. Uh, I guess it would start with like thank you when I was a kid. My brother, I told this story on a podcast before, but you know he had a job at McDonald's and he grabbed like the black cement fours, OG, and like two blue threes. And I always, you know, I took them from him when I could fit in them and they were destroyed. And my mom threw them away. And I had a couple pairs when I was a kid, like nothing crazy. Like uh, Hot Lavas I posted today on IG. I had those when I was a kid, but not too much, like basketball shoes. And then when I was older, I started maybe 2006 slowly. Yeah. But not like throughout, like I never had the money or whatever, you know, to buy a collection back then. I was never like into like basketball growing up either. So I, I wasn't growing up watching Jordan play. I just, I don't like the sneakers because he played in them. I like the sneakers because of what they look. It's just the aesthetic, the style, the colors, how you could dress them up, dress them down. I didn't grow up watching basketball, so I'm not going to lie and say, like, yeah, I remember sitting on my couch when I was five years old watching Jordan do a dunk and shit. That, that wasn't my upbringing. Yeah. But I just like the sneakers for what they are and, the, you know, the design and the aesthetics. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and especially if you're, I mean... The culture all comes together. You learn about one shoe, maybe Penny was playing when you were a kid or whatever, and then you're like, what's he wearing? And then see what Penny's rocking now. He's rocking all Jordans. So, I mean, it's uh, whatever way. Like, when I was a kid, it was, I never had any Jordans, but it would have been Jordans. And then, like, you know, the Facebook groups and stuff, like, maybe, like, seven years ago when I would get more okay. serious. But, like, 2006, I remember buying my first pair in New York, uh, when I went with my then girlfriend and wife, but uh, really slowly, I had like 10, 20, 30 pairs, and then it kind of picked up in the last maybe seven or so years. Yeah, of course, especially with like all the the increase of production and all the different colorways they have right now. Yeah, and like so, it's like you're bound to like a colorway that's gonna drop within the year. I like watching guys like you and being like members of those Facebook groups and stuff when all crazy stuff was dropping back then, like the Asics and the Runners. Like, yo, I don't know how long ago that was. You would probably know, like, 2013, maybe? Like, when, like... When it started jumping off, around 13, 14. But I wasn't even into runners at that time. I was, like, into Nike basketball yeah. and Nike and, like, like, the Air Maxes and the Jordans and the LeBrons, the KDs, the Kobe's. Like, that's what I was buying. Yeah. I wasn't, like, focused on A6, Saucony, or New Balance at the time. I was blinded. Yeah, I was probably... I probably started into that at the same time as you did. I, I don't know when it was, but... You know, yeah. There was some- Yo, I appreciate you definitely yeah. for coming through. Thank you. We got Toronto in the house. Uh, for let's just give a people a recap of what went down round one. Uh, here it is. Round one, I had my twos. Oh, round one, not the not the bonus round. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're gonna straight murder me right now. I'm Eighty-five. I'm trying to play catch up. I'm trying to play catch up. There we go. We got the Joe Lewis Burn Rubber 577. They're going to be trouble. We got the Chicago Tools from 2014. They're going to be trouble. All my, all my followers. No. Round two right here. I want to see who, who uh, of my crew is here. I don't know. I can't tell. They would see it in my, uh, it would say I'm live, right? And in my. Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll show that you're live with Tony Hawk Boys. Well, where is it, Toronto? No, I don't think so. But they're, they're going to tune in for the YouTube, and they're going to check it out there. They're going to vote over It's there. awesome you're doing YouTube. It's so good. Yeah, I appreciate that. I had that account since, like, 2012, and I never posted a video, so I got the time now, so I might as well. You feel me? And, and it's all entertainment. I love doing this shit. This shit is fun. I told you your uh, review. Reviews are good. I appreciate that. I'm going to try to get back into that, too, for the reviews. Yeah. I definitely appreciate that. This was round three. I got the New York City. Jordan 1s with the red carpet. And you got the reigning champ, Jet Light 3s. What, what year was that? I was 2013, 20, no, like 2016. More recent, more recent, yeah. I think it was like 16 more or less. They dropped three colors. or oh, two other ones. They had the black and the navy, right? Yeah, I got the navy somewhere. The navies are nice. The navy's fire. I like the grays. I like the grays. The navy is like 
You can wear that with anything. Yeah, I got that for you. Okay, I should have pulled these out, the white lace. But I got the white lace. And you got the white lace gang. You know the deal. White lace gang out here. <laughs> yeah, this was fun, man. Thank I appreciate you. that. All right. So I got the, the next opponent coming through. So stick around. Oh, you do another I one? I got you, all right? I'll be out, man. Good I luck. appreciate you. Good luck. Until time. next time. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Kid. Round two coming up. Yo, show enough. Where you at, kid? Hit me up. Oh, here we are. Woo! Round two. Well, battle number two. You don't spill. Don't spill no drops. Show enough. Where you at, man? Pick up your phone. I know, yo, Oz, what up? Joyce, KJ, Nuff Nuff. Who else is here? Shanley S'mores. Granados, what up, fool? The map. Oh, I put that away already. Back to back. Yo, so enough, pick up your phone, man. Don't run away from the battle, kid. Michael Rappaport, you stupid. Yo, he, I think he won that battle. Henry, what up? I appreciate you. I really thought he was going to pull out one of his 85 ones. I, that's why I have my fragments out here just in case. But I figured I didn't have to use them. The weapon of mass destruction. Oh, come on, show enough. Pick up your phone. KB in the camp out. Camp out was here in the last... Uh, in the last battle, he was watching when I was battling KB, and he was here when Didi was here. I don't, I haven't seen him uh, come through for this one. So enough. Yo, Tone versus KB would be massive. She gonna pull out all her bespokes. I don't think I, I want that problem. There it is. The infamous man. Hey, why so soft? What do you mean? I didn't hear you. I didn't really hear you. For real? Yeah. How about now? No, I think it's my phone. You want to reconnect, like, leave it and then leave the live yeah, and come back and see what happens? Yeah. All right. White Lace Gang, you know the deal. We put white laces. Well, it came with white laces. I can't show you what I got on this side. On my left hand side, I got um, I got a few carefully selected pairs that I'm gonna battle. Show enough 808. It's the homie from Hawaii. Got a Hawaii in the house. You better watch your mouth. Don't say nothing crazy. My volume is low. No, my volume is high. You guys can hear me, right? Oh, you guys say he's scared. That's messed up. Don't don't be, don't be playing my boy like that. He gonna find ya. Brooklyn in the house. You're. That's New York City's capital. It's not Harlem. Mm -mm. New York City's capital is Brooklyn. Maybe Harlem could be capital of the world. Maybe the fashion world. I'll give them that for sure. So enough. Jorilla. Oh, shit. Harlem in the house. Got gotcha. Just a wild Hawaiian from Harlem. <laughs> you can hear me now? Everything sounds good? I can hear you, but it's still soft, so let me see if I can pull it up this way. How about your volume? Is your volume good? Yeah, it's maxed out. Damn. I'm whispering. Soul Street, what up, kid? All right. Let me see if I can do like this. What up, kid? Yo, Soul Street, you want a battle? I'm a, I'm calling you out on live right now, dog. Don't don't play no games, Soul Street. <laughs> I guess I can hear you out on live. All right, do I sound good now, or is it just like? Nah, it's gonna be like that. So we'll just let's just play it out. All right, maybe it's just uh, ah, whatever. Fuck it. Do you want me to like end my live and then start it up again, or it just? Now, see, the last time I was on somebody's live, it was the same way. It was soft like that. So I don't know oh, if it's my phone settings or what. I don't know, man. All right, fuck it. All right. 
So let the people know where you're from, a little bit about your sneaker history background, and we'll take it from there, and we'll start these, you know, shooting off for these rounds, because I got some, I got some people for you right here, kid. I got some hot biscuits. You better relax. You better relax. I got you. I got you. All right. So that you guys already know, originally from Hawaii, um, relocated out here to Washington State. Uh, for the most part, I've been with sneakers for a long time, but, you know, like, like everybody else's story was, when we was kids, we didn't have the money to do it, so, you know, we would just admire them as we passed by Foot Locker, whatever it is, and um, as I got older, got my own job and stuff, I could afford them, so I started to pick up a little bit more, and, I mean, it ain't, you, you can see it. it it's, it's, it's I see some crazy gems. by no means. No, no, I see some fire stuff back there. Mm. I'm about to call 911. You got a little fire, a little bonfire over there. So let me just sit like this then. Here we go. <laughs> no, but yeah, yeah so I started, <laughs> like that. I started slowly, and then, uh, like everybody else, we got, you know, you got the Jordans. That kind of got you the ball rolling. Because as a kid growing up, I watched basketball, I played basketball. But uh, I never had Jordans until I was 22, 23, maybe. Okay. Uh, the first pair of Jordans I bought was a Team Elite 2. So it wasn't even like a, a series, a numbered Jordan. It was just a Team Jordan, right? Yeah. And then, um, then it just kind of started going out of control. Started picking up 1s, 11s, 4s. And then I moved on. Like your previous uh, live, you was talking about moving on to like the A6, the Salconies and whatnot. I started getting into that as well. So now it's a little more diverse than when I first started but like I always comment in y'all's videos I buy what I like me too yeah yeah so it's like if I can't get it I ain't, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna go out of my way I'm not gonna pay massive amounts of retail I think 500 is my limit a little <laughs> shameful to say that but I think the most I ever spent on a pair of shoes was 500 and that's a resale on and resale. you up up there I, I think it was a pair of Sean Waterspoons, and that's when they first dropped. And I was the like, oh, I fucking yeah. missed out. So I, I found some dudes selling them in Brooklyn. I was like, yo, let's meet up. And that's how I got my first pair, and then I got a second pair for retail. So I'm thankful Ooh. for that. Yeah, I'm thankful. Nice. All right, so back to your story, my bad. No, no, just, I mean, that's basically where it comes from. I mean, a lot of the stuff that I pick up, like I said, I'll sign on. If I can get them, I get them. If I don't, keep it moving. Yeah. Um, it's, I, I've said it in the past. I don't think I'm in, people perceive me as being into sneakers heavy, and I thought I was too, but the more, the, the, the more years go on, it's kind of like, I like them. I, I'm, I, I'm not as much of an enthusiast as people would think. You know what I mean? Like, I know enough, I like them enough, but I'm not head over heels crazy, you know, going to lose my mind over trying to get a pair. And I think that's what makes it the fun part, is that if I score that sneaker, cool. If not, I'm able to walk away. It took me a while to get to that point, though. You know what I mean? Like, you would obsess over, like, oh, I got to get that. Yeah, but but now, like, these days, like, if you miss one sneaker, two days, three days from now, it's going to be something else that's going to catch your eye. And you'll be like, what sneaker? That shit wasn't nothing. Like, I yeah. got something better this week or, like, in a couple of days. something, Or even that same day, like, five sneaker drops in one day. You got to pick and choose sometimes. We're not all millionaires out here, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't have... Especially because, you know, there's other bills out there that we got to take care of, right? So, yeah. you know, a sneaker thing is cool. And I'll be honest, moving out here to Washington State, um, it, it doesn't rain as often as people would think, but at the same time, it ain't always pretty out there, too. So it's not like I can bring out some heat and wear them around. It's just like I end up doing the whole, like, let me get a pair of ones because they have to get destroyed by the rain or the water or whatever it is. I just, I'm old now. You know what I mean? Like, I don't go out much. Like, going oh. to Target is going out. I'm old. So, nah, no, I just wait. Really here's a, here's a, here's a uh, fun fact. My birthday was just recently. And oh, I happy belated. I feel like an asshole for not knowing. Or I, I hope I said happy birthday to you. You probably did. I think you did. Okay. Yeah, because it was uh, last week Sunday. And I just made 24 years old. Happy birthday to you, dog. Thank no, you. One I'm not 24. I'm 30. Um, I just, I just made 40, to be real. I just made 40. Dog, you look young. <laughs> you look like you just hit 30. 
Thank you. Oh, that's crazy. I tried What's the secret? What's the secret? I don't know, man. I guess, like I said, man, Filipino people, we just, we age well, apparently. That's what I keep being told. You see a lot of Filipino Asian folk walking around. They all look, we all look like 22, 23, but we're really like 40 and 50, so. Yo, I swear I got the key to like long life. I got to drink more tea, man. Y'all got to, y'all playing out there, man. I got to take some notes. Kim's Convenience, man. Kim's Convenience. Yo, I love that show, kid. I love Kim's Convenience. Yo, you turn us on to that. that I'm done with this. Yeah, you know, so my daughter, my, my girlfriend, we started watching it. We got time set aside in our night to watch at least two episodes. Yo, I, I love that it's 20 minutes, though. It's like quick yeah. and he's going. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So we, we after this is done, we're going to get to that. Oh, for sure. And I got Dwight over here. I know a few people have been asking about Dwight. I am a big Office fan. Dwight is probably one of my favorite characters. Shout out to my nephew. He got me that. Bears, Beats, yeah. Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> Yo, my girl hates The Office, though. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. my daughter, we love that. We watched, I think we binge watched since we've been here. Just boom, 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 boom. Just nonstop. Yo. Michael Scott, yo. I love Kim's Convenience. It's the best thing ever. All right. <laughs> let's do Let's do round one. Um, I got something dope over here. So let's do this right here. All right. We're going to count them all. Yeah, you, you got your shoe ready? Round one? Yeah. Come on, don't, don't give me that. You're so bashful. We'll see how this goes. Come on, let's go. You ready? One, two, three. Boom. Oh, where my laces went? Dog, you fucked up. That's what? wild. My hemp fell, my hemp laces. My, my bag of hemp flew out of my sneaker. You believe that shit? You're monitoring this call, man. You can't be talking like that. <laughs> I'm a hell of a dog. Stop playing with me. There All right. Is. So I got these. These are Oktoberfest Saucony Shadow 6000. Uh, I got these because I know you like beer, and I like beer, and a couple of our uh, followers and our friends and family like beer, too. Oh, so I brought this for you. I got the hops on the insole. I did wear these times. You got the brown leather. That's spectacular right there. And you got the, the yellow hits. Nice. I love the yellow. The yellow is fire. We got the translucent outdoors. Not bad for, you know, a GR. All right. And it smells good, too. This is for, those that, for the people that don't know what they are, let them know what uh, the sneaker is that you're holding. If you don't know, research. Shines. That's all it is. I caught these on the... So you got yours on the first drop? Or you missed the first drop? I missed the first drop. On the first drop, I paid resale, and then I got lucky with uh, a pair for retail on the sneaker app. Yeah, yeah. When they re-released it and said, oh, because you tried, they, I guess they put some names or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I got these. I'll, so here's the thing. I was I was at work. I was at work, and I took a lunch break. Just to go check my phone. I'm like, what is this? Yeah. Boom. I got, my, uh, I got my notification, so I went in. Okay. Well, see, the thing is, I'm a true 12. By the time I got to it, the twelves are gone, so I got it eleven half. Still fits though. Just so happens, still fits. I, I went half a down. I went down half a size too. I got a size eleven. I'm true to size eleven and a half, but I heard that they ran a little big. Yeah. So I, I listen to everybody, which is not very common. I, I barely listen to myself sometimes. <laughs> but the size eleven fits spectacular for some reason. They fit. I have no issue with them. They're comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. These go too. These go good. But I see, I see people voting for the Shawns, man. That that pair will never get old, man. People love that pair from all walks of life. He definitely killed it with that collaboration. I love that. It's 97 yeah. upper, the corduroy, the colors. Corduroy, man. And they look good all beat up. See, that's the thing. So I never, I never wore these yet. Oh, uh, you because got to Because it'll move, you know what I mean? I move. I and it's always raining in the studio. The weather's not that good. Yeah, I'm not trying to get these. These not gonna be no mud stompers. Nah, that's, if you do it, make a video before you step into the mud, so you can have it like archived for the rest of your life. <laughs> Moment in time. All right, I'm ready for round two. If you ready? Oh man. All right, I'm ready. I lost that round. I give you that. You had a cheat code. Nah. You good? All right. You count down. I'm ready. One, two, three. <clears throat> 
Wow. I love that pair. I had to sell them because I, out, I outgrew them. Oh, for, for some reason, I went from a 10 and a half to 11 and a half. What the hell happened? Bro, oh, you telling me I had to sell a lot of my shoes because of it. Oh, damn. But I got the LeBron. Uh, I think it was the King's Pride. When the, the first colorway they drop on the 11s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look amazing when they were like brand new, but now they're like getting a little discolored. They're super comfortable. One of my favorite LeBrons, and I'll probably own like three pairs or like five. Probably like six pairs of LeBrons, I think. But I like the, the sock lining. You got that yeah, that's nice, yeah. yeah, but I think you killed me with the New York City ones right there, the Knicks, the Knicks the ones. The Knicks ones, man. I got to get those back. I got to get them. I think you see the inside there. You got that apple. Well, that's the mellow, uh, mellow apple, right? That's the mellow apple. Damn. I don't have the other one out, though. What, the gold one? There's down there. The what? Yeah. No, 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 no the not, the mellow, not the gold ones. No, no, I don't got those. Oh, which one? No, I meant the other side to this. I think the inside was Oh, the other this. side, other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, they're both apples. Yeah, they're both apples. Yeah. I think you got that wrong because I, I vote for you for sure. Ooh. I definitely vote for you for that one. You you bust my ass on this one. LeBron 11, so I had, what did I have? I had the, what was it called? Miami Knights 11s. Oh, that was all black with the, it had like the, the pink, pink accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think I still have them. I haven't worn them. See, uh, I shouldn't have got rid of them. Why you sold them? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You bugging though, that's a good color. It's all black with the hot pink. Yo, you know, it, it was like crazy. a grayish, uh, I don't know if it was like carbon fiberish looking. Yeah, yeah, it was like the carbon fiber. It was so nice. I just, I sold them. I don't know why. No excuses. Bugging. I sold them. The 11s are really nice LeBron 10s, the 8s, the 7s. Mm. I, I like these at 4s. Like, you don't got no LeBrons anymore, or what do you have? Yeah, my shit's about to pop. I got this. That was the 11 Elite or the, the no, 10. 11. Right? The Superhero 10s, the Elites. Yeah. I remember that pack. Yo, KD yeah. has some pretty ass sneakers, man. After like the KD 6 or like the KD 5, like it was over for him. Everything after that was like, eh. Yeah. I like these, though. These are comfortable. No, no, for sure. They're definitely comfortable. Definitely for performance. You play bowling though, or you just like straight to get changed? Nah, that was just a regular uh, wear around sneaker. My hoop sneakers is like, what was it, the KD9s, uh, a whole bunch of like the 2028 and stuff. Okay. Yeah, so. Don't be falling, don't fall. I think I'm ready for this, this round three right here. I think I got you on this one. I ain't gonna lie to you. You might like this one too, or you might oh, not. Oh man! All right, let's uh, see. I'm thinking about it. I don't think you will. Okay, I think I'm. I'm set. I'm set. I gotta be set. You sure? Yeah. South Beach nines are word good, and the eights too. Shout out to showroom. I see you showroom on the check in. Ooh. All right, let's do this. We're gonna count to three. Yep. And we're gonna show everybody our third sneaker. Yeah. One, two. Three. Boom. Oh, I think I jumped the gun. I always jump the gun. I got Seattle 10s for your ass, kid. Because you're on Seattle. This These guy. are like one of my favorite 10s. So when I saw the retro, I had to have them, though. I had to. I haven't worn them yet because it's so beautiful. Yeah, so yeah, beautiful. yeah. So brand new. I think I'm to wear them in the springtime. Are they still available? Ah. Uh, Probably in our sizes, you might get lucky on sale somewhere, but usually for like Jordans, when they sit after a while, 10 and a half and up will still be available, but you probably have to like do some searching for that one. Yeah, hopefully someplace locally got them. Yeah, maybe. These are fire. I love these. I just, I just hope that they don't squeak after I wear them. My powder blues squeak bad. You gotta put baby powder in the powder blue, kid. Yeah, so... I was gonna do that. Just got lazy, kicked them off to the side, so forget it. <laughs> Bring out something else and wear them. Keep them. It's keep be like on. that because you got so many options. So it'd be like, do I really want to fix them or just like, I just pull something else out? I'm gonna fix them eventually. Oh, you know, they're nice. You know what I mean? Nah, this, this is not real leather. If anybody's asking if they're real leather, they're not. 
All right, let the people know what you got. Ewing Athletics. 139 oh. Athletics. The big L. So, 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 right? Nobody's going crazy over these. Nobody's, like, blasting them all over social media. So I'm like, I'm going to bring out something that I like. Big L. That, that's what it's about. Call them. Call them world. I'm Lennox. Every time I'm up there, I'm on Lennox Ave. So, um, there's not much else to say about them. I mean, so you got that smell. I just love, I just love the picture that they got on there, though. That's crazy. Yeah. Big L. I mean, I want to wear them too much. Yeah, I think black that's why when this one just because of like the the history behind that shoe and what it represents. Especially you got big L with the tongue, so a lot of people is gonna resonate with that. They just gonna automatically vote for you. I got these tents for you. Ah. You know me though, I, I do this shit for fun. I don't care what I bring out. I want the people that come to the show. I just want them to showcase what they got and talk this shit and just show the world who they are. You feel me? Because a lot of these big companies they're not showing us. You know? Yeah, and we don't want to pump money into their pockets. I'm trying to do what I do. That's I'm trying to play my part. There you go. I appreciate you, man. Nah, no oh. doubt, no doubt. Wait, 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 wait. What we else cannot you got? go no. on without. And this is not part of the lineup. Maybe I, I, brought, I brought these out just in case for you. And it's funny because my man Joe Rilla, shout out to Staple, shout out to you know Jeff Staple too. I had these in the cut because you know I had I had to represent the you know New York City another way. With the run of the Blaze of Glory, Staple, Puma. Shit. Don't play fair. We don't play fair. White Lace Gang, you know how that goes. Come on. Oh, man. White Lace Gang. This guy. I cannot not showcase my custom shown up sneakers. Shown up. Shown up. Yo, you would have won if you would have whipped those things out, kid. No, this is not fair, man. This is like. This is this is like sitting on my shelf for display only. Look, autographed by Bruce Lee, Roy. Oh, that's right. You had that uh, that convention, right? When you came out here yeah. in New York. How was uh, that? T made these for me. Who was it? We are designer custom. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. So you never wear them? Huh? You never wear them? No. You sure? These are a display piece because. When Bruce Leroy seen this sneaker, he's like, yeah. oh, that's cool. That is a sneaker of me. So I'm like, yeah, I will sign them. I said, okay, cool. And he's just, and he's like, wow, that's, that's so fire. cool. Yeah, so this is like just a display, just to show Why don't you get like a, a glass case for it or something? Yeah, I was going to order one. I think I, I found one online. I just, I never got around to ordering it. It's just sitting on my shelf looking all pretty and stuff. So Yeah, no, nah, that pretty piece. That's a good piece. I see the New York hats back there. You always represent, kid. I see you. That's that love right there. Straight from the West Coast. Oh, that's the far West. Ooh. 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 I Ooh. see. Damn, dog. They took you out of Harlem, but they can't take Harlem out of you. <laughs> Harlem so world, you must say. Look at that. I hope after all this thing settled down, I got to go back. Probably meet no, up no, for again. sure. We got to link up again when you're out here or whenever I'm out there in the West Coast. Cause I, I definitely want to plan a trip out there. So when yeah. all this shit dies down, everybody's going to be out and about doing whatever they could, you know? Yep. Everybody's going to be traveling, walking around, breathing with no masks. With no phones. They're going to put the they phones away. They're going to be tired other. of it. Yeah, they're going to be tired of phones. Everybody's thumbs are going to be like this from like pressing buttons and shit. We're going to come outside. Yo, what up, fist bump? Nah, uh, they gonna have to go chiropractic because looking down all day like that, they gonna mess up their neck. They gotta... Yeah, dog, you gotta do some stretches from being on the phone for too long, man. Yeah, there you go. I see everybody, yo, what up, everybody in the check-in. Flavor, Joe, Big Willie. Yeah, I appreciate everybody coming through. Wow. Uh, so enough, you the man. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I thought, I thought I pressed the wrong button, my bad. My fingers, they be slipping sometimes. You doing this too much. Yeah, yeah, too much of the, on the phone, man. I gotta get off the phone, man. This shit, I gotta stretch my hands. All right, I'm gonna try to do more of the battles. I appreciate you. I, I think you won, more or less. I think you got two votes out of the three. Uh, everybody that came through, thank you. I really appreciate that. So enough. I appreciate you know the deal, man. That's it, man. I appreciate you, man. I had fun. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Appreciate you. Until the next time. All right, man. Take care. Yeah, man, you too. Yo.
I did two battles back to back. I think I lost both. Uh, but it is what it is, kid. I'm having fun doing this shit. If you're watching and you stuck around all the way to the end, yo, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. If you want to battle, I battle all ranks of people. So it don't matter if you got all hype beast shit. I don't care. You can bring all the hype shit all you want. It's just, it's just, you know, it's just the personality that comes with it. So just because you might think, that, oh, I got all of these shoes, like I might have some shit that will be like too exclusive. It don't matter. Just come through, pull up to the block. We'll do what it does. We'll battle. Shout out to Showroom. Shout out to Shanley Smalls, KJ, Shanley. Has ain't ready. Show enough 808. I appreciate everybody that came by. Until the next episode, turn on the post notifications. I'm going to post this up on YouTube. Joe, you know the deal. Bird gang out here. Flock with us. All right. Tone is out. Thank you. Much love.